Well, once again, the governor and the mayor of Baltimore are sparring about crime in the city and who is doing enough work to get the problem under control. This comes after an 83-year-old woman shot in her own home while reading a book in her bedroom. WJZ is live right now. Ava Joy Burnett is in the neighborhood where that happened. And today she spoke to the mayor who had a fiery response for the governor. Ava Joy, what did he have to say? <laughs> Hi, Denise. Well, uh, Mayor Brandon Scott is calling the governor's letter a publicity stunt, and he says this is the case because they were both at Preakness last week, Saturday, all day, and he says the governor said nothing to him about this issue. But the governor's letter came just a few hours before an 83 year old, as you mentioned, was shot and injured while sitting and reading in her bedroom, and this is renewing concerns about crime in the city. The old woman just sitting back doing her nightly reading before she goes to sleep and gets shot. <laughs> it's crazy. An 83-year-old woman is the latest victim of gun violence in Baltimore, shot as she read her church book in her bedroom. I heard something go pop, and I heard her jump up and scream. And I took off back up the steps, and when I got back to the top of the step, she was holding her arm and blood was gushing. The victim, Miss Marjorie Tyson, is one of 276 people shot in Baltimore so far this year, but survived. Another 131 people have been murdered in the nearly six months that have passed. With these statistics in mind, Governor Larry Hogan said Mayor Brandon Scott assured him that his crime plan would lead to meaningful reduction in violence. But now, even members of city council are saying there's a complete and utter lack of progress. In a letter to the mayor, the governor said he wants a comprehensive update on the implementation of the mayor's violent crime plan and accounting of how much state funds allocated for law enforcement have and will be spent and details on the police department's progress towards closing warrants for violent offenders. Today, the mayor Sometimes called the governor's letter a publicity stunt because while they were both at Preakness, the issue never came up. Because when you want to have a conversation as a man with another man, you do that when you see that man, especially when you're spending essentially the whole day together at Preakness on Saturday. Governor Larry Hogan said more than $37 million will go to Baltimore next fiscal year for public safety. And the mayor said even though homicides are higher this year compared to the same time last year, the pace of murders has slowed down since February. Police are clearing murder warrants more quickly and more guns are being taken off the streets. As officers canvass this neighborhood looking for tips on who shot an 83-year-old. To try and connect people to know where they can submit information anonymously, uh, because somebody knows something. Marjorie Tyson's family wants the violence to stop now. Hey, luckily, the bullet just kind of went through and, and came right, you know, came out. She, um, no major damage or anything. Uh, she's just tired. And Ms. Tyson's sons told us that she could be released from the hospital sometime today. As for the mayor, he said he's invited the governor to come to Baltimore City to see the progress that they're making here, but it's still not clear if the mayor's office will answer the requests in that letter. Live at 5 in Northwest Baltimore, Avajoy Burnett for WJC.